A goal in life, everybody has a turn back moment. Everybody has a crossroad. If, if you haven't been at it, it's coming. You can either decide to continue or to quit. To go forward or to go back. You're gonna always have that decision. But what I did was, I made all of my dreams bigger than my fears. So when I felt like quitting, the results would have been devastating to the goal I was trying to attain. See, I was so sick of being poor. My motivation was, I was just exhausted from poverty. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't do this no more. I was sick of living in my car. I've been living in my car for three years. I was sick of not having money. For me to quit, and see, that's what people do. People quit when it's at their hardest moment. But if it's at your hardest moment, why would you quit? Somebody sent me a plaque one time that said, if you're going through hell, why stop there? I mean, think about it. If you're going through hell, why stop there? F you in hell. Move, keep going. And I just could not see myself not being successful. And so since I was already at my lowest point, how much lower can I go? I figured if I quit, I'd go lower than that. I didn't need that. So I just, you know, but my faith, people's opinion of you is none of your business. I have lots of haters. They on the internet all the time. But who are they though? They don't even know me. People who are haters on the internet, I call them thumb gangsters. They just typing shit. Their little punk has got a private page. They say it, but they don't even know me. So I don't, I don't give them no energy. I give haters no energy. Steve ain't this, he think he this. You don't even know me.